Hello and welcome to the Budget for Freedom mini course which has four modules that are going to be uploaded weekly. So my name is Norma and I am the owner of Norma's Diary and what we're going to be doing is a mini course that is found at the beginning of the Budget for Freedom journal. So if you have your journal it's at the beginning there is four modules that you'll be following along while I do the course with you. Okay, so what will be covered in this course is number one, module one, which is needs versus wants, which is what we're going to be doing today. And then number two, it will be the budget for freedom restock, because I know there's a lot of questions um, of when are we restocking. And also another thing that will be covered is the awareness of knowing your finances and how to manage your finances, because... It doesn't matter how much you earn. If you don't know how to manage your finances, it's never enough. And you're always going to have stress, which we're trying to eliminate. <laughs> so the things that you are going to need is two highlighters. So different colors or crowns or whatever you're going to use to highlight the difference between needs and wants. And you're going to need a bank statement. So your previous spending tracker, which is your bank statement. Um, you can find it on your phone. If you have an FNB app, you can download your statements and follow along on your phone. Or you can just print it at the ATM. Um, and also you're going to need your BFF. If you have the PDF version, you also have the modules over there. And if you don't have the BFF and you want one, we are restocking um, second week of January. But I'll keep you updated as well here on YouTube, but also on Instagram. Okay, so now let's start the modules. So now we're going to be looking at our first module. Now before we look into our first module, we're going to look at our why. You're going to tap into your core. Why is this important to you? Why you shouldn't give up? Why should you do this, basically? Why did you buy this journal? You know, things like that. What is it that you're wanting to change? Why are you starting this journey? Okay, so basically I'll give you a bit of my story just to motivate you and um, give you ideas of maybe what to put or what you didn't think that you could be going through as well over here so basically what i touched on is i was tired of living paycheck to paycheck i was tired of saving money and, tape and having to tap back into my account um to get more money in the middle of the month because now i need the money again you know so that means i'm not saving i'm just going backwards i wanted to start living a life where i'm not worried about nappies and things like that so also i just didn't want to worry about petrol i wanted to get out of debt i want to be debt free i want to be in control of my finances i don't want my finances to control me i'm just wanting a life of freedom um so i'm going to do whatever it takes to reach that and it says it over here and then how has it changed my life so far so realizing that this is why i want to start budgeting and since i've started budgeting how has it changed my life? So I've created a much healthy mindset with, about the way I think about money. I don't have a problem with online shopping anymore where I'm like, okay, I have money in my account. Let me just go on Superbalist and shop away, even though I don't need the clothes actually. It's just that I know that there's money in my account. I've learned how to budget and live below my means. And there's a TikTok I saw which said millionaires actually live below their means, which is a habit that we all have to build. Um, I've built up healthy savings where I was even able to put down a good deposit for my car um, and I use sinking funds to help me save for big events and small events that are in the future like birthdays, anniversaries and Christmas and I have more financial stability, you know, so things like that and also how it has changed my life now, it is, had, has helped me help other people, okay, so I like that about that. So now your story. So take this time, pause the video and let's write your story together. You can write, obviously, you can pause it and write or we can do it as I'm writing. So why did, so you're going to write your name here. Why did Norma buy this planner? So to learn how to manage my finances. Another reason to not live paycheck to paycheck. Moon, 
I'm to get out of debt. Of debt and build healthy savings. Mm, and also to be able to buy a house and make it a home for my children. Okay, so your reasons might be different. You might already have a house. Maybe you just want to pay off your house. Um, you might just want to buy a car so you can get out of public transportation. Um, I don't know you know your reason so write it down so that you remind yourself every time you fail every time you you want to just go out every single weekend and spend money of why actually not going out every weekend and choosing one weekend a month is going to help you reach your goals okay why is it important to you so how will achieving this over here change your life Okay, so obviously managing your finances will help you be more aware. So aware of my money, aware of my... Have you ever had a moment where you get paid and then all of a sudden you don't have any money in your account? You are not aware of how much you received. You are not aware how much has gone out. You just know that money came in and money went out. That is not the way to live. It becomes a cycle, you end up borrowing money or you end up living in debt because you basically need more because you don't know how to manage what you are getting currently, which is probably a lot and could help you, but you're not aware. You're just like, oh, it's payday, oh, um, rent, the d debit orders are coming out, debit are coming out, let me swipe and buy KFC for the family, let me swipe and buy debonairs, um, let me go buy the shoe for this one, let me go do that, let me go do that. The next minute, oh my gosh. I need money <laughs> I know exactly how that feels okay so obviously being aware of your finances so basically being aware of your finances is now budgeting that's basically another word of budgeting so awareness is another word for budget having a budget being aware of what's coming in and what's going out that's a budget full stop it's not the 20% goes into savings, 30% goes into um, bills, 40% goes into expenses, variable expenses, da da da. It's being aware of what's, coming, what's going on. Your budget will never be the same as my budget, but you have to be aware of how much you earn, because it won't be the same as mine, and what are your bills, because it won't be the same as mine. So I cannot give you any percentages. You just have to know your numbers and then manage it. So that's what we're going to be doing in the modules. Okay, so you're basically going to break it down. How will this change your life? How would it help you? Will help? I know for me, it will help me pay off debt that I'm trying to get out of. Help pay off debt. Um... Yeah, it will help me save more money. It will help me create sinking funds that are going to help. And we just got out of Christmas. So you know what you went through this Christmas. When you know you're using money that you're supposed to be saving for January. Because January is going to be a long month. <laughs> it's going to be a long month. But if you had a plan for Christmas, then you know that the income you got in December is for January. And January won't feel like a long month to you. Okay, so help pay off debt, um, help me live below my means, help me save more money, create sinking funds and things like that. That is how it's going to change your life. Okay, now ask yourself, how does not achieving this going to change your life? How will it impact you and the people around you? So if, if you do not achieve this over here, this, what you wrote, whatever here, to pay off debt, to buy a house, to pay off your car, to... I don't know, whatever it is, to pay for a credit card. How will that change your life? How will that impact? So for me, if I don't implement this, it means I can't buy a home for my children. It means I can't get out of debt. It means I'm still going to live paycheck to paycheck and probably be depressed. So just ask yourself, like, tap into that feeling. And that's how you're going to 
be motivated every single day because now you are emotionally getting attached to your story okay now let's open module one okay so needs versus wants okay so what you'll need is the two different highlighters as we covered at the beginning bank statement or basically how you track your spending so you can use your phone and a calculator right here okay so i'm gonna read a little bit over here if you have the bff or the pdf version then obviously we're going to follow along this part here is the first step of knowing your spending it is crucial to start here because when you are done with this step you will be able to be aware of your expenses and your spending habits which is not a bad thing please when you see that oh my gosh i spend a lot on takeout i spend a lot on alcohol i spend a lot on cigarettes i spend a lot on shopping i spend a lot on just eating out whatever it is don't feel bad just be like okay now i'm aware that i have an unhealthy relationship with money we are overspend on unnecessary things how can i change that because if you calculate how much you overspent on takeouts this year in 2022 that's how much you could have saved or even half of that okay then when you'll know you have been spending then you, you know how much you have been spending um, your finances you'll be able to create a realistic budget and also you'll be able to make some tweaks and changes so when you know this is how much i actually spend on alcohol like going out and drinking whatever that's not a bad thing at all it's just that when you know you'll then have a budget for it so you're not going to cut it out completely because that's unrealistic that's going to make you just one day relapse if i should if that's the word i should use so rather have a budget for it and say okay a month i choose one weekend where i go out with my friends and i'm going to spend 600 rand okay because usually a month i spend over 1200 so let me cut it in half and spend 600 rand and once that 600 rand is done then i'll see it next month again then you start creating that healthy relationship with your spending habits with your money and with yourself Okay, so now I completely understand that this part is hard. You will have fear, guilt, and shame. And that is honest, just, just, it is what it is. Some people are going to fear doing this. They're not going to want to see the truth that, oh my God, I spend so much on clothes. I spend so much on this and that. So they're not going to want to do it, but you have to do it. You have to face the fear, face it with your eyes, and then attack. <laughs> so you're also going to be guilty. And you're also going to feel shame of yourself um, when looking at how you have been spending your money. I was also there. I remember seeing how much we have spent on eating out, on alcohol, online shopping, compared to how much I have saved. And I felt sick to my stomach and I knew I needed to make a change. Because the truth is, you cannot change what you don't know. So once you know, you will then know that, okay, I need to make a change. So the first step is to open your bank statement and write down a list of all your spending. You can group some things together, like eating out. So you're not going to write McDonald's, Spur, Steers, you know, all the restaurants. You rather write eating out and like highlight it, group it all together and then calculate how much you spent. Um, grab your highlighters and group together food, bills, petrol, clothes, debt, savings, alcohol, cigarettes, coffee shop, online shopping, etc. Now write down all of these down. Once you have written them down, get your two highlighters. Highlighter number one is for important expenses, so your needs. And highlighter number two is for your not important expenses, so your wants. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing right now. Okay, so these are my expenses. I really hope everyone can see. I got a message the other day that they couldn't see properly so let me just see if i can zoom it in okay so number one for me is a home of course i'm going to cover things that i do at home so rent is number one and then electricity
and then Wi-Fi and food don't worry I'm looking at my um, statement right here on my phone um, and then laundry I'm just trying to think I'm grouping everything into like household car etc um, laundry I think that is it so then I'm gonna end with takeout we don't really eat out um, as you know I'm married to a chef so we don't really eat out but we like ordering in like steers and stuff so take out okay so next one is my car so my car I pay for my car monthly I also pay for my car tracker petrol uh, my coolant so I buy my car coolant car wash usually it's like once a month car insurance yeah I think that's all and then we've got my cell phone I wrote down Wi-Fi here so I'm not gonna worry about that so I pay for my cell phone every single month but I claim back at work so it is coming out of my account so I'm gonna write it down but it does come back and then entertainment so we've got Netflix now I don't have DSTV that I have to pay for because it's included in my rent um, so I don't have to add that um, what other entertainment do we do no um, alcohol and stuff KB covers that <laughs> and then we've got medical aid and gap cover I hate that these are two different expenses but whatever it is what it is I've made peace with it then we've got beauty I'm not gonna break it down into hair lashes nails I'm just gonna write beauty and savings this is also something you need to write down as it is gonna come out of your monthly income um, oh, school fees. And we've got tithing or giving back. Um, and then we've got Shopify, which is for my business. And then we've got FNB, which is the card that receives all these monies and also transfers them out. Okay, so these are all my expenses, my bills, my expenses, my important things and my non-important things, but I live with this. Okay, so I'm just going to check if everything is still in. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to write what is a need and what is a want from here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pink highlighter is going to be needs and yellow highlighter is going to be wants so I'm gonna write here need want okay so rent is a need electricity is a need Wi-Fi is a need because of my business. Food is a need. <laughs> Laundry is a want. The reason why I say want is because I take our clothes to the laundry because I'm so, so busy and we don't have a washing machine. Um, so it's easy. But if I didn't have money for it, I could actually do my own laundry with my hands. So it is a want. It's not like I would die from that, you know. <laughs> Take out are a want. Car is a need. Car tracker in South Africa is a need. Petrol, obviously the car cannot function without the petrol, so it's a need. Coolant for me is a need because my radiator has a little crack. 
so sometimes it leaks and I need to refill my coolant so that my car doesn't overheat. So I need that. Car wash is a want. And a clean car obviously is an essential but I, we can do that ourselves. Like KB can just wash the car. Um, but yeah, it's not so I'm going to take it to the car wash. Insurance is a need in South Africa. <laughs> Cell phone is a need, obviously. Netflix is a want. Medical aid is a need, again, in South Africa. And I keep highlighting that in South Africa because I've lived overseas before where I gave birth to Skylar in New Zealand and I didn't have medical aid and everything was covered without paying a single dollar. So I say it's a need in South Africa specifically because in other countries, they don't really require you to have medical aid when you're paying tax and everything. <laughs> Gap cover is a need again in South Africa because when your doctor claims over 200% or whatever percentage that your medical aid can cover, Gap cover will then cover that. So you need it. Beauty is a want. Um, savings, I say need, but to you it could be a one for now because maybe your priority right now could be to pay off debt school fees is a need at Skylar school fees tiding I would say is a need the reason why I'm saying it's a need because tiding doesn't have to always be money it can be other things to give back um, but also with money it doesn't have to be your whole income it can be just a little that you have so we can make it work and I do want to remind myself to always give to my mom or anything. Shopify is a need for my business because if I didn't have Shopify, you wouldn't know where to purchase my products and I wouldn't know where to list them. It would just be a bit of a nightmare. So it's a need for my business and F&B obviously is a need. So as you can see, I'm telling you some reasons why some things are need that you're probably looking at like, mm, is that a need? So ask yourself, what is a need to you and what is a want to you? Okay. Rent could probably be a want to you because maybe you could probably move back home and sit and be at home and save money. I don't have that option because obviously I am married and I don't want to move back home with my husband. That is absolutely out of the picture. So you figure it out what is a need and a want to your life and be real to yourself so that you can make realistic changes and tweaks. Okay, now how much are these bills? So again, look at your bank statements, but also if you have been budgeting like me, I've been budgeting since 2019, end of 2018, 2019. So I now have an idea of my budget. Um, but at the beginning I used to look at my phone and see what did I spend how much did I spend on each thing so rent is six one two five uh, let me see if it is clear on the camera six one two five electricity is 800 rand a month Wi-Fi is 200 Food is around 2,000. Um, laundry is 250 and take out are around 600. Car is 2,400 around there plus minus, usually minus. Um, car tracker is 189. Petrol is around 1,400 of my share and my mom also gives me money for petrol because we go with her to work in the morning every day. Coolant is usually around 90 rand a month and then car wash is around 80 rand a month. Car insurance we're looking at around 1050 and then my cell phone is for 09 a month. Netflix is 100 Rand, medical aid is 2,900 Rand a month, gap cover is 409 which is going to 429 um, next year so I'm going to remind myself that if I don't budget 409. Um, beauty is around 1,000 a month 
or let's say 1200 a month um, savings is around 1500 a month school fees is around 2700 a month tiding i'm not going to write tiding it just depends um shopify also again shopify it depends i'm going to put 1600 plus um it's usually more than that depending on the sales that i make and i've been making quite a few sales so f and b is 250 a month okay so these are all my expenses i hope everyone can see these are all my lists these are all my needs and wants and this is how much they cost now what you're going to do is take your highlighter your needs highlighter it could be blue it could be green whatever it is and then highlight your needs so i'm going to highlight the amount part so rent is a need electricity is a need that is a need that is a need and then car tracker petrol coolant insurance cell phone medical aid gap cover savings school fees tiding shopify and fmb so as you can see most of my expenses are actually needs um and then the wants are laundry takeouts car wash netflix and beauty okay so these are all our expenses well my expenses so you can do this exercise with yourself and it might take you longer than this video just if you're new to budgeting and have a look and see what do i need what do i want and what can i live off with like what can i live without and what do i actually cannot live without like for example i cannot live without electricity i cannot i cannot live without wi-fi i have an online business i cannot but things like that what, what do you need what do you want now you're going to we're going to calculate all of our needs and we're going to calculate all of our wants and write down the amount over here so take my calculator okay so six one two five sorry i cannot see properly for some reason i think it's the the sun <laughs> sorry guys six one two five plus oh, now it's just gonna make a sound plus 800 plus oh gosh let me hold it like this oh let me let me hold it like this plus 800 plus 200 plus 2000 plus 24 plus 189 plus 1400 plus 90 plus 1050 plus 409 plus 409 plus 1500 plus 2700 plus 1600 and then plus 250 so that is 24002 so we're going to flip it over and write it over here total need is 24000 022 did I say zero zero two? Gosh. Okay. Now total for our wants. Two fifty plus six hundred plus eighty plus one hundred plus one thousand two hundred. Two thousand two hundred and thirty. Two thousand two hundred and thirty. Okay, so now in total, two thousand two hundred and thirty plus twenty four zero two two equals twenty six thousand two hundred and fifty two. Is my expenses? 
now obviously you already know that i get around twenty five thousand, but that is with my husband so it's not just me it's the both of us together and then if i just focus on my needs we are fine we are living below our means and we are also saving so that is important to understand okay i really hope you enjoyed module one and i am so excited to see you for module two bye everyone